tale of the tape sponsored by the United States Marine Corps. The few, the proud, the Marines. Reach advantage for the undefeated Barrios, who is an entertaining fighter worth watching. Let's get the official notes from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from Eagle Bank Arena here in Fairfax, Virginia, Premier Boxing Champions presents a special attraction in the ring. It's our co-main event of the evening brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Judging at ringside for this bout, we have Brian Costello, Mark D'Attilio, and Robin Taylor. All right, fans, here we go. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in a super lightweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks, training in Buenos Aires by way of his home in Palpala, Jujuy, Argentina. He weighed in at 143 pounds with a record of 20 wins and one loss. He has 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome the skilled super lightweight contender introducing Juan Jose El Pitbull Velasco. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with gold trim, fighting out of and representing San Antonio, Texas. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 143 pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of 23 wins, no losses, 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the rising super lightweight contender known as El Azteca, introducing the undefeated Mario Barrios. A referee in charge, now to give instructions, Wayne Spinola. All right, gentlemen. Hey guys, you know the rules, obey my commands at all times to protect yourselves at all times. Do you have any questions here, sir? Touch gloves, step back, I'll get you started. Number one contender, Mario Barrios, who will turn 24 years of age next Saturday. Number one contender who has on his mind big things. Talks about using his range, being patient, working the body, and someone who's going to have to be a little more patient i guess that's what he was telling us well he's got the right trainer right now he's got virgil hunter who his father uh hired to you know actually move forward in this game i think you're going to see it pay off but uh, don't forget uh velasco is a real cagey fighter he's going up against the number one contender here in barrios but uh i really like velasco and his slickness in the ring this could turn out to be a barn burner tonight yeah me too Velasco coming off the first loss of his career at the hands of the WBA champ Regis, Regis Progres, Progres, excuse me, who knocked him out in the eighth round. It was back in New Orleans last year. Yeah, that's his only loss, and you got to mean Progres is the champ of the world, plus he's a southpaw and a real, probably the best southpaw out there right now. So no, no shame in losing to him, but he's beaten everyone else. And Velasco, progress. he hasn't fought Joe in over 300 days. This is the longest stretch in the career of Velasco with that 20 and 1 record. Yeah, you hear that quite often with these fighters now, don't you? Uh, you know, we, we often hear they've been out for a year, yeah. six months, two years. I mean, wouldn't you rather let it fight stay in a rhythm? I mean, you don't want to get beat up if you don't have to, but. Well, it's always better to stay in the gym and stay mobile, always stay sharp. Um, some, sometimes these guys have injuries they need to uh, sort out before they step in the ring. Both of these fighters good going to the body. You saw right there where Velasco tried to counter that jab right over the top and he just barely missed uh, Barrios. But Barrios is a great left hand puncher. He'll go to that body. Both guys go to the body really well. They're right there you see that little shot. By Barrios. He'll go to that and the left uppercut and the left hook. Barrios says he trains for every opponent as if it's a world title fight, whether it is or not. Born in Wisconsin, Racine, Wisconsin, moved to San Antonio, Texas when he was five years of age. Started boxing at the age of six. Was a sparring partner of Amir Khan at one time. And a rising talent. 
Facing the 32 year old Juan Jose Velasco. Yeah, Barrios is really tall for this weight uh, at 140 pounds. And he's got huge hands. He's a big puncher. But, you know, he's got in front of him a real slick guy. He's got, uh, you know, people may underestimate uh, uh, Velasco here, but I, I don't. He's got a great trainer, and uh, he's well-schooled. But he's got a tough test with Barrios here. Yeah, so will he have to take more risk, Joe, since he's tall and thin for the weight class? Something I'll have you expound upon as we get into the second round. Maybe simple one, round one. I'm live to the house. <laughs> the name, name. Live boxing premiere, boxing champions fight night here on Fox in Fairfax, Virginia. Let's check in with Heidi Andrall. Thank you very much, Chris. Well, there wouldn't be a night without some controversy, right? I just spoke to the head of the Virginia State Athletic Commission, Dave Holland. He told me that the official score simply made um, an addition mistake. I went back to the locker rooms. Matt Korobov, he first, he declined comment. He was rightfully upset. I went back to speak to Emmanuel Aleem. He told me, hey, it's not a loss. Let's run it back. Guys? All right. Thank you, Heidi. Well, we're still sorting through in the aftermath, but a majority draw is a majority draw, as we tried to explain after clarifying the miscue. Mario Barrios, Juan Jose Velasco. Now in round two. And, and Joe, you were talking about Velasco being tall and thin for the weight class here. So Barrios, uh, all more so, I mean, uh, so does Velasco have to take more risks than well, normal here? Well, you see Barrios is boxing really nice from the outside right now. He wants to keep Velasquez uh, uh, on the end of his uh, Velasco on the end of his punches. But Velasco's going to have to start slipping and countering. He tried it with the right hand, but he, so he's got to use that head. But when he gets down inside there, he's got to take advantage of that or he's going to be trying he's going to be on the end of the punches all night. So he's got to start penetrating, slipping, countering like that, right there. He got hit, but he countered twice back. Yeah, but he's coming in and needs to move his head a little bit more. And show different angles while he's going in. Well, you know, sometimes you can come in on a straight line and your angles are your head movement, left and right. You know, you don't want to take yourself too. Oh, down to his knees. In pain. Velasco, after a quick delivery. No, he's hurt. From Barrio. I don't think he's getting up. I don't know what punch that was. That was a straight right hand. The way how he reacted, it almost seemed like a body punch, but it was it was a straight right up. Yeah. Yeah, the pro race fight, the body punches. Well, look, I mean, the last punch, the obvious punch that you saw was that right hand. Whether he followed up with a left hook to the body, I don't know because his back was to me. But I had told Lennox Lewis earlier, what did I yeah, say? Yeah, you know, you did. I agree. I, I, and I said it was, was going to be two rounds. I said it's going to be a two-round fight or a ten-round fight. Well, he's undefeated it. for a reason. Barrios, none of his last seven victories have gone the distance. So you can chuck up another one. No, he, look, if you saw him in the fighter meeting, his hands, they look like light heavyweight's hands. They're huge. He's a big kid for the weight division. His sister, Selena, is a fighter who has been a great influence on his career. In fact, he said she used to beat my beat my yeah. butt when we were younger. <laughs> the way he's reacting here, it looked like a body shot. We haven't seen the replay yet, but he's he's holding his belly. Yeah. So he, he got hit with a body shot, maybe following or before the right hand of the I chin. think it was before. Yeah. There's a Selena, and the nickname's understandable. So her career in amateur, she had an outstanding amateur career now as a pro, a record of 5-1. and one. He has three sisters, his older sister, and Selena, as we mentioned, his mother. They took him to the gym when he was six and fell in love with boxing, and they keep each other sharp. And, boy, he, Mario looks sharp here. Second straight knockout before the fifth round. Eighth straight knockout for Barrios. Well, 
We're going to get an official decision. I don't think we have to worry about the uh, computer fouling up mathematics or scoring in this one. I think Barrios, he may have watched earlier and said, I'm not going to mess around with anything. I'll just finish this thing. You're watching Premier Boxing Champions live on Fox from Fairfax, Virginia. Barrios with a wicked punch. We're just down the road from our nation's capital in Fairfax, Virginia, on the campus of George Mason University. Our main event, one of the reasons we're here, Jared Hurd from small town in Maryland, not too far down the road. You saw us show you the map a little bit earlier. Wanted a fight in his backyard while defending his title, and he will against Julian Williams. Our next fight, going to be a good one. Former super welterweight champion Austin No Doubt Trout facing Olympian Terrell. Deshay, May 25th. You'll see that on FS1, and you can also watch on the Fox Sports app. To the ring, and Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 16 seconds in round number two. Our referee in charge, Wayne Spinola, reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. El Azteca Mario Barrios. All right, the devastating knockout, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen. This is what ended it. There it is, the left hook. Oh, right yeah. Hand. There's the yeah. right hand that got him at the end. Let me tell you, you don't want to catch a punch in the body. That winching. Yeah. He was, his right hand was out, so he had no protection whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. You said it, Lennox, right away. I, he's not getting up. Well, you see, and that's what I'm talking about being on the line. He yeah. made the slip with his head, and he just landed first. And it was a great left hand. And there's where it sunk in, the pain. It eventually yeah. got to his brain, I think. Delayed reaction. It's a delayed reaction, and, and and you know what happens? It just spreads out like wildfire. It starts in a spot and spreads out through your stomach. Barrios with his 16th knockout. He'll be 20. Well, he's 24 and 0 on his what will be his 24th birthday next weekend. And his sister, yay, very happy. <laughs> Team Barrios. <laughs> And he was really an engaging guy to talk to. And Heidi is in the ring with him. Thank you very much, Chris. You're right about that. He's definitely engaging. I see you smiling back here watching those replays. I spoke to Virgil. He told me before this fight, he said, pick your shots when you find it. Find it and make it happen. This is your moment. What did you see? I mean, first things first, I want to thank PBC, Al Heyman, everybody here in Virginia. I mean, it's the first time out here. I, I hope I put on a great show in front of y'all. I mean, I stuck to our game plan, you know, um, just being smart, uh, starting off with my jab, and I was just, you know, being patient. I have 10 rounds to work. There was no rush. Um, I know he's a strong puncher. I, I could feel it on my arms. It was just, you know, just, just being patient with it. Your eighth straight knockout. What do you want next? I want that world champion. I want all the smoke. I started, I'm ready. I've been proving it, you know, my, my past eight fights, I won 40. I mean, I'm ready for that title shot.